So we are in Frisco today because Stephanie is getting a consultation for a tummy tuck. Yeah, she wants to get a tummy tuck. Go I under the knife. Explore her options and go under the knife. Right now, she's just filling out the paperwork for the consultation. What kind of questions are they asking you? <laughs> when last time you boo boo? But yeah, I just, um, I actually want to know more about my stomach since the delivery, so, and what the resolution could be. So I'm here to see if a doctor can kind of look and see what actually needs medical surgery and what can I do at home. It's an interesting picture to be in the waiting room of a medical office. I got a little care package in the room. I'm talking to us, taking our blood pressure and explaining the procedure a little bit. Sounds so. quite expensive. <laughs> Especially after having twins. Um, I told you guys once before that I have diastasis recti, and that's basically where my abdominal muscles separated during the pregnancy. Now I've learned more that the fascia, is that what you call it? Fascia? Uh, fascia, yeah. Fascia? The fascia um, is stretched out, and so. He was just saying how he could tighten all of that back up um, without any serious surgery. Like he doesn't want to cut through the face. I guess that's, he doesn't do a traditional tummy tuck, which I thought was very interesting. I didn't know that there was a difference of different types of tummy tucks. But um, so he doesn't do the traditional tummy tuck. He does like a corset down sutures on the sutures on the side like a corset and tighten it up like they do hmm. make the skin again one thing he said was that um i actually don't have a lot of fat on my stomach um a lot of it is loose skin so that made me feel a little good to hear because the thing is when I lost all my baby weight I got really small like I kept losing weight because I kept thinking I need to get it off I need to get it off I need to you know get my stomach together so I kept losing weight but it didn't help my stomach so I just I had this wrinkly stomach and the rest of my body was nice fit and toned so i mean it does i kept reading it calls for surgery and there's nothing you can do but i'm like no it has to be something that you can naturally do um but once i saw for myself no there is nothing you can really do you do have to actually have surgery to have that that skin removed and fix what's going on inside and so and even the doctor said it he was like I could do sit-ups until my face turns blue and nothing will happen. But yeah, I'll let y'all see. So as you can see, I have a lot of wrinkly skin. All this wrinkle. And I have a hernia. I also have a hernia that he said he will go ahead and fix. So, 
You're really paying attention. I understand, you know. You understand. I went to, went to medical school for a little bit. Whatever. I mean, he said the recovery time would be two weeks. Well, not really. He said about ten days. Two weeks of just rec like off of work, but like pretty much like working out two months. Oh yeah. But like as far as not being able to just be up and about with my normal day, that would take about two weeks. Do you think it's worth it, I guess? Do I think it's worth it? Do you think that going through this type of surgery to fix what's going on is worth it? It all depends on you and what's important. Because it's not just, okay, I want to have a nice stomach and look good. It's With you, I feel like it's more mentally and it kind of makes you more self-conscious. You? Mm-hmm. So, it really depends on, like, you know, will it affect you mentally? Because you, every time I see you, you walk around with your, your, you're covering your stomach with your hands. So, you're always walking around, like, you think, you know, worried about your stomach. I would, me personally, I would say it's worth it. Mm -hmm. you, just, you got your little refund check. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> I'm not using my tax refund. <laughs> it's something to think about. Um, yeah, it's, it's something to think about, but. I do. I it's I do get self conscious about it. I do mourn the fact that I can't comfortably now I can still if I want to because people do it all the time, I can still walk around here with skimpy clothes with my stomach out and act like nothing wrong. <laughs> Which is probably what I need to start doing. Um mentally I'm not there yet. Mentally I'm not there and it's so I need to figure out, yeah, if it's worth it for me or can I just accept what it is that having twins has done for my new beautiful body. It. Well, I don't have to accept it. It's kind of like the same thing. Like, why do, why do people work out? To lose weight. Why do you just want to accept the fact that they're overweight? Some people do, though. Okay. Some so, people do so just either, accept either, the fact either, of being either overweight. Either accept the fact that you, you know, you, whatever you got going on with your stomach, or you can do something about it. It's up to, I mean, like I said, it's, if, if, it, if it doesn't bother you mentally and, you know, then okay. You keep it. Mm -hmm. But if you feel like it will boost you up and confidence and all that, then do it. I You'll love me either way. Yeah. You'll find me sexy either way. Mm-hmm. You can find me sexy now. Yeah, it's either way. That part either way. <laughs> I'm hungry. Can we go eat? Before we pick up the boys. Before we pick up the people who demolish my body. I love it. <laughs> That's one thing. Now, they make me feel good about my stomach. Stefan and Antonio <laughs> love it. He like, Stefan lights up when he sees my stomach. He's like, ooh, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna do it. Just show him. <laughs> like, just take, just walk off with your stomach out and see what he did. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all his reaction to my stomach. And he gets mad when I don't let him play with it or kiss it. He loves kissing and biting on it. And so and he has a fit when I says no. That's what I think Stefan gonna like big girls. <laughs> Stefan, he's, he's gonna be a little chubby chaser. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go eat. So Stephanie is out of surgery. She's been out for quite some time. Roughly about three hours, but she's been asleep the whole time and nauseous. So 
How do you feel? 